Yeah, so hey everyone, I'm glad to be here. I'm here to talk about how a lack of features actually became a feature for us for a project at a German automaker and uh, also operational simplicity. So let's get started. Uh, here are a few things about me. So I would consider myself just an average everyday engineer. I recently graduated university. I'm really passionate about open source software. Basically, that's what brought me here. Uh, I'm currently working on serverless data pipelines and data lakes, so no Kubernetes there, like at all. Uh, I'm bummed out about that one, but uh, yeah, I try to make up for it in my free time. I have a pair of uh, Kubernetes certificates, which we will circle back to later, and I'm really proud to have received the Linkerd Hero Award back in July. And here are a few ways you can reach out to me, feel free to do so if you have any questions. So let's get started quick agenda. Uh, we will try to get a definition around op what operational simplicity is, uh, talk about this project for this German automaker and our results with uh, Linkerd. What a surprise. So operational simplicity. Uh, my definition of oper operational simplicity is that an infrastructure is operationally simple if it is well documented, has well defined requirements, tries to minimally serve those requirements, keyword minimally, and accomplishes all these with loosely coupled components. So you will see all these attributes uh, in our solution and in our goals for this uh, company. So. Uh, slightly less than a year ago, we were approached by this major German automaker. They had like this big list of requirements for their Kubernetes clusters, basically just MTLS. But at this point, I had like uh, no service mesh experience, didn't know what MTLS was. I mean, of course, I knew what TLS was, but not MTLS. Uh, it had a five week deadline, so five weeks to roll out a service mesh to three clusters, like uh, go through all the compliance and security checks, like, I mean, five weeks, plenty. Uh, so I brought out the uh, CNCF landscape, looked at the service meshes, and yes, so the decision was not that easy to make. Uh, we spent like two or three weeks just prototyping things, uh, yeah, trying to out different things, even the uh, one of the uh, solutions provided uh, natively by the cloud provider, but uh, didn't really succeed. So uh, to, we decided to just uh, move on and try to define some goals. So. We decided to uh, try to not introduce a lot of moving parts into the uh, current infrastructure because they had plenty, like plenty gateway solutions, compliance stuff, and make the solution maintainable. So after we were uh, done with implementing, they would have to maintain this solution themselves, try to keep everyone sanity, everyone happy, have a shallow learning curve for the tools and aim for just the essentials. And yeah, so you can see that it would mean just well documented stuff, uh, documenting everything that we do. And uh, so our solution to all of this was uh, Linkerd. We went from no mesh to mesh, uh, fully meshed in around two weeks with all the configurations. Uh, Linkerd passed all the compliance and security checks, so no problems there. And we only had to do some uh, minor adjustments like security context changes and uh, also just pushing all the images to the company's private registry. And uh, yeah, so the internals were really easy to document. Uh, we were able to just refer back to the documentation of the, uh, the official Linkerd documentation at lots of places. And the performance impact was honestly really negligible. So it's, uh, it, it was, we got really similar results uh, with our benchmarks to uh, one of the posts published by Boyant uh, while comparing the Istio to Linkerd. So really good performance uh, says all around. And yeah, so we were really happy with this uh, experience. So closing thoughts, uh, you can find the uh, presentation with that QR code and uh, we will have a round table discussion around developer experience around Linkerd tooling at 12.30. So feel free to join me. I would love to chat or just stop me at KubeCon at any time. And uh, yeah, I would like to close with uh, one of the Ship It podcast episodes, one of the titles of it uh, from Gerhard Lazu, uh, which I try to live by, uh, which is do the right thing, do what works and be kind. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Dominic will also be available for questions here. I'll take this opportunity to point out the roundtable discussions that will be happening over lunch right after we're finished here as well. Wow, that was loud. Yeah. So yeah, thank you. <laughs>